So, you know, there was... There were a lot of slaves transported through the Caribbean to work the sugar plantation. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of Afro-Boricua and Afro-Cubano, a lot of African heritage in the Caribbean. Uh, so this is my very, very good friend Tanit, my second family in Puerto Rico. Um, and Boricua. Uh, unfortunately, she suffered from lupus. A, another disease that plagues Afri African Americans more than Caucasian or any other ethnicity here in America. Um, she spent the last two months of her life on machines in the hospital here in Dallas. And I was blessed to be able to see her the night before she died and say goodbye to her. So this poem is about that. And it's called Tanit's Smile. And so you, as you look at her, I want you to see her smile. It's beautiful. With her tears, she said goodbye. With her conjunctivitis, she said goodbye. With her inflamed, dry, lackluster eyes, she said goodbye. Voicelessly, she said goodbye. With her rosary, she said goodbye. With her swollen hand, she said goodbye. With her rosary fastened to her delicate hand, she said goodbye. Voicelessly, she said goodbye. With ulcers, she said goodbye. With the ulcers on her legs and her back, she said goodbye. With the legions of posterior erosion lesions from being in the hospital, confined to a bed for two months, she said goodbye. Voicelessly, she said goodbye. With her tachycardia, she said goodbye. With her hypotension, she said goodbye. With her tachycardia caused by the medicine to keep her pressure normal so that she wouldn't die, but then she couldn't have her dialysis, she said goodbye. Voicelessly, she said goodbye. With tubes invading her chest, my chest tightened, I couldn't breathe. With tubes protruding from her nose, I grabbed my nose, I couldn't breathe. I felt my lips quiver when I couldn't remember her smile. With gangrene toes that looked like the vomit rising from my stomach, I smelled her flesh, her gangrene flesh. I choked on death and swallowed tears internally. With dizzying machines all around, entranced by the dancing colors and the sterile blue gowns, my heart hummed and beat inside my chest to the rhythm of the up and down, up and down, up, down, up, down. Smile. Don't frown. She's looking at you. Remember her smile. I kissed her on the forehead with my sterile mask, and in my heart I said goodbye. I lied and said I'd see her tomorrow, she looked at me and told the truth. I said I love you with my lips, and with her eyes, she said goodbye. Thank you. Professor Joseph Brockway, everybody.